What is going on guys? Welcome back to another episode and today I'm going to tell you exactly what Zillica is in plain English. By the time you finish watching this video you'll know exactly what this blockchain is and what it can do and you'll be able to explain it to anyone who inquires about it. So with that said let's jump straight into it. Yeah! Zillica is a high throughput public blockchain platform that has been designed to scale and process thousands of transactions per second. It also allows users to develop smart contracts and create decentralized applications directly on the Zillica platform. Nani? Now it's a very similar project to blockchains such as Ethereum, Cardano, Polkadot, EOS etc. But what makes Zillica unique is that it addresses a major issue in the crypto space and that is the issue of scalability. You see, one of the biggest concerns and problems in all of crypto is the ability to process lots of transactions per second. You see, most blockchains cannot process a lot of transactions or data very quickly. Take Bitcoin and Ethereum, for example, two of the most popular projects in the crypto space. The more these two projects get adopted by users, the slower the transactions become and take to complete. And in Ethereum's case, the more expensive these transactions are when you're transferring value from one user to another. This is a massive problem because in the modern day world, we have companies such as Visa that can process thousands and thousands of transactions in seconds. If blockchain is to become more mainstream and take over platforms such as Visa, it needs to be able to process transactions at the same speed and capacity as Visa and even surpass it greatly. In other words, blockchains need to be able to function quickly and efficiently as it grows in user base and not slow down like an old outdated PC or smartphone. So the obvious question is, why are traditional blockchains so slow in processing transactions? Well, most of these blockchains use outdated technology where nodes and computers on the network have to verify transactions together and come to a global consensus before these transactions can be put through. So for example, if I was transferring you some Bitcoin and Ethereum, this process would take place and once it goes through, you'd receive that Bitcoin and Ethereum on your side. This process is slow, it requires lots and lots of computing power and resources to complete and the users and nodes on the network must always process the entire blockchain transaction data before they can put through a new transaction which of course causes more computing power to be used and as a result causes the network to run slower as it grows. This isn't a very effective strategy if blockchain is to grow. Now Zillica is a blockchain project that eliminates this scalability problem by incorporating something known as sharding technology. Sharding is a way to spread out the workload of a blockchain network so that each computer slash node on the network no longer has to process the entire network transaction load or data when a new transaction occurs. The blockchain transactional data is split into multiple shards and allocated to a set of nodes slash computers on the network. Rather than processing all the transaction data like traditional blockchains, sharding blockchains like Zillica allow computers and nodes to only process the transactions related to the shard that they're allocated to. Now this of course allows less computing power to be used and it results in quicker transactions taking place and more transactions taking place on the network. Sharding allows blockchains to still remain decentralized and secure and it also makes finding specific transactions on the blockchain a lot easier to locate as of course they're in separate shards and not just bundled together like traditional blockchains. Now because there's fewer nodes and computers to process transactions per shard more transactions can take place as the blockchain network expands and grows. In other words, Zillica sharding technology will enable increased transaction load and transaction speed as the blockchain network expands and more users adopt this technology. Now, as we mentioned previously, Zillica also is a platform which allows the use of smart contracts and decentralized applications. Now, these smart contracts are programmed using Zillica's own programming language known as Skiller. Skiller imposes a structure on smart contracts that will make applications running on Zillica less vulnerable to attacks 
by eliminating certain known vulnerabilities directly at the programming language level. In other words, using Scylla to program your smart contracts will make them more secure. Now, Zillica's native token Zill can be purchased off many different exchanges and platforms and can be stored in a number of different wallets, such as the Atomic Wallet, the Hardware Ledger Nano S, the Garda Wallet, and Crypto.com. So let's take a look at some pros and cons of Zillica. We'll begin with the pros. Number one, it is one of the first public blockchains to implement sharding and solves the scalability issue in crypto. Next, transactions can be processed at a very fast speed as the Zillica network expands and adopts more users. Next, it has a solid team behind it. Moving on to the cons, there is currently only a limited amount of decentralized applications on the network at the moment. Number two, this project still isn't very well known in the crypto space or the mainstream. Number three, Zillica uses non-turning complete language. Turning complete languages allows for more complicated applications to be developed and used in comparison to Zillica's non-turning complete language. So there will be a limitation here in the types of applications that can be developed on the Zillica blockchain. Saying that though, Zillica has that security feature at the programming level which makes applications more secure. So it's a bit of a give and take situation. But what do you guys think? Are you fond of Zillica? Do you own Zillica? Are you invested in Zillica? And do you think this project has a potential future? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you're interested in discussing and learning about more crypto projects, let me know which ones you'd like to see on the channel. And don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Check out this next video on the screen to further expand your education in cryptocurrency. And I'll speak to you in the next one. Take care. Peace. Nani?